Good afternoon, everybody. It's Saturday, September 22nd, 2012. We're here at Smith Vocational High School for Northampton Youth Football League action. We are ready to start the junior levels, Blue Devils, against the Springfield Wildcats. I'm Andrew Shelfo, joined here by Rob Osberg. How are you doing, Rob? Fantastic. I'm excited about Northampton football. This is our junior level. These are fifth and sixth graders, if I recall. Fifth and sixth graders, and I should mention these are the undefeated Blue Devils. They're three and zero on the season. And we're here at Smith Vocational High School. This is Tudor and Field. It is a beautiful fall day. In fact, I think it's the first day of fall today. Is that correct? First day of fall. Yes. First full day, right? First full day. Doesn't the uh, doesn't that changeover happen on the twenty first, or is that? Or my, is it I saw a sign on the R K Ryan Road Finn School board that said like September twenty second was the, the first day of fall. Sidelines. I'm going to go with what the schools are telling me. They're good at they're they're good places to learn stuff, aren't they? I've heard that. All right, first play for the Blue Devils. Uh, that was Ryan Long off to Ryan Long up the middle, gain of about four yards. Ryan Long is, is Boogie a Redford determined run. runner as we've seen before. And he runs it inside the tackles. He's a strong guy. He's a tough kid. He loves running inside the tackles. That's that catcher mentality when he plays baseball. He's the catcher, and as we know, catchers are sometimes a, a different breed, a little yeah. more determined than some. This, this, this juniors team, these, a lot of these kids have been playing together for three or four years. They're a confident group, and boy, they played great last year, uh, last week Second against a very good Wilbraham squad. It's Hank Jarden under center. It's Melcher. There's a handout to Melcher, a big hole. Oh, what a Nice cut. cutback. Now he's got nothing but green in front of him. Melcher, number 30, three. 20. And he's 10, and he is in for the score. Whoa! Play of the game. This is, you know, this is reminiscent of Luke the game Melcher. last week where we just exploded to an early lead. Great play by Melcher. That was super offensive line play. And then, man, the Melcher left him. That little stutter step That was cut. what a move. Melcher, 55 yard run for Northampton. Immediately gets on the board. That Springfield Wildcat scoring. defender is going to be seeing that in his dreams tonight. Right down to a quick 6-0 lead. The line up for that two-point conversion. That's the way you want to start the game. You know, the, the interior line did a great job, led by... So that makes it 6-0 Blue Devils. They line up for the two-point conversion. Gavin Jarden under quarterback. I think I called him Hank last time. Takes a snap. There's a pitch. That's to Quentin Cesaro. And he is tackled. Down the backfield. Quentin Cesaro. Conversion no good. So that makes conversion. it 6-0 Blue Devils. Conversion is no good. So Hamp starts out right away, scores 6 0. Great here. way to start the game. That's how you want to do Hamp it. D's going to be moving right out of the I should field. also mention, Rob, the lights are on here at Tugent Field, and this is our second game of the day, and there is some weather we think moving in. We're hoping that we don't get wet. Yeah. Well, this, uh, this team is uh, led by head coach Mike Demon, and he's assisted by Brian Bezeski, Patrick Diggins, and, and Hank Gerard. And, Really appreciate their effort. In fact, Hank, in addition to being a coach for this junior squad, is also the board president. Uh, this year, uh, Hank, in his role as president, is assisted by Vice President Ron Behrens and Secretary Erica Lamana, Treasurer Diana Zinal, and then members Manfred Melcher, Taryn Johnson, Patrick Diggins, and Brian Bisesky round out our board. Manfred must be particularly proud of his, fun, his son Luke, who uh, exploded ahead for that 55-yard gain. First and 10 for the Wildcats on their own 35. Quarterback takes a snap. There's a quick out to the receiver. Catches it. Is that he is immediately wrapped up by a bunch of Blue Devils. Jersey. I think that was number 26, Ben Landry, who made that nice play on that uh, out there on the corner. As they peel him off. No, is that number, that number 28? That was 28. That was Reed Stone. That's nice play. For Northampton on the tackle. That, was Reed that Stone receiver right is there. a big, tall guy, and Reed Blue just Devils. wrapped him up and brought him down. About three. Good play. Yeah, nice play. Number 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 26 Landry is on the other side of the field. And these corners are on an island. They have to make that play. Otherwise, it's six points going the other direction. Nice play by Stone. So that was a gain of about three yards there. That'll make it second and seven for the Wildcats. So the Wildcats line up. They have two backs second behind the down quarterback. Now Wildcats. One receiver out to the right, one receiver out to the left. Quarterback calls the signals, takes the snap. There's a handoff, number Oof. 20, tripped up. That's yeah, a nice play. Down. Is that number? That was nine. That was Ryan Long. Ryan Long made the Ryan trip Long up. Ryan Long tripped him up. A fantastic play. That right out of that, that, that center right linebacker right position. Great seven. play by Long there, penetrating the line. Tackle. Penetrated, no got him, that play. brought him down. Brings up third, third down about down six. Field. Yeah, number 57, Rodriguez, was also in on that tackle. He finished him off. Nice team tackling on the part of the Blue Devils. Good, good start on both the offense and the defense for the Blue Devils, bringing up third and about five. 
Third and five at about the 39-yard line, let's call it. Looks like those Wildcats have a little bit of, they have some height on their side of the ball. Plenty of ice cream, frozen treats. 50-50 raffles going maybe on, Maybe it's folks. the uniforms that make Lovely it look Lovely ladies tall. from the Northampton Blue Devils Booster Club is selling tickets. Now, one difference you may notice if you your watch 50, the Pee Wee game tickets. is that the coaches aren't on the field for the juniors game. And they also play on a 100-yard field. The, the, the goal lines are the goal lines here. These juniors, these 5th and 6th graders, they get to play on the same size field as you watch field. the NFL play on. It's the quarterback making sure everybody's aligned properly. Calls out the signals. We have two wide receivers right, one guy going in motion. Not something we usually see in these junior games. Quarterback takes a snap, he's looking to pass. Not a lot of time because no chance. chasing him down right was away. number Can't 55, Troy Renner. And then when he ran number away from 10, Renner, 66, he ran into Northampton. number 10, Ben Fowler. Ben Fowler. No, number, number 50, Fowler number 56, Fowler. Dylan Demon was also in on that play. Nice play by Dylan Demon. I like this offense that they're trying to throw the ball a lot, but you know what? If you're going to throw the ball, the offensive line has to block for you. And that's going to bring up a fourth and long. Fourth and long. Camp, and Northampton is going into their into their yeah, punt defense. That backed them up a couple that's number three, the Melcher, there. back there to receive the punt. The, see, uh, do we think they're going to punt? We're not sure. The Wildcat quarterback seemed like he was bringing in a play. It's just not clear. It doesn't look like it. No, they're not in. They are in. They are, like they're they're going to go, go for it. They're going. So once again, we have so, two receivers to the right, one receiver to the left. Lines up. Last time they did a little receiver motion out of this set. Backing up some players in the offensive line. There goes the play receiver in motion. And there's this a, is a reverse. The receiver and Double a reverse, reverse and, and a fumble. fumble. And there's lots of standing around. You can't do that when you have the ball. And that's and Melcher, Melcher making coming from the his play. safety spot. The three, Luke Melcher. Makes the tackle oh, for Luke, a five-yard five loss. Up, yeah, number 10, loss. Benny Feller had a lot to do with that loss. He came okay. shooting in from his backfield position. Gave that gave that runner a big botch, a big bop. That's a Benny bop. Melcher was there to finish it off. Blue Devils take over first and 10 on their own on the uh, 29, almost the 30-yard line of the Wildcats of Springfield. It was, a, it was an ambitious play for the Wildcats. It sure, it sure was. High ball. risk, high reward, and unfortunately that play was all risk. No reward for the Wildcats. Right back the Camp loose. takes over first it and ten. It was slow to develop, which just meant it gave the Blue Devils a lot more time to get there and tackle them for the loss. Referees 50, call 50, 50, a timeout. They're going to confer about something. Number 36, Gavin Gerard, and uh, wasn't sure of the play, and Take seemed to be out. some confusion. And there's timeout on the field. All right, Blue Devils call timeout as Gavin Jarden brings the team back together for the huddle. Make sure they call the right play. Looks like they've done that. Break the huddle. First and 10 on Hampton on the 30 now. Jarden up under center. He's got Melcher and Long behind him in the backfield. Takes the snap. Hand off to Long up the middle. Nice hole. Gets in to the secondary, Number it's gained about five Ryan yards. Lockford, you know how much I like those plays. That's five yards, that's efficient. That grinds the clock, that's good football six, right there. Got to love five, four and a half yards on a first down play. Nice job by the uh, Blue Devil offensive line. Nice job by Ryan Long just exploding into that hole. Following Jarrett Smith. Also following big number 50, Devontae Edmonds, just busting up some holes there. You know, Jared Smith played his best game of the year last, last week, did a great job on, uh, on offense, on that offensive line. A little bit of confusion more on the Blue Devils' side of the ball, and they've called timeout. The juniors Looks like the Blue Devils have it straight. That was the second play in a row where they had to call timeout because they weren't sure of the call. Jarden up under center, takes the snap. There's a handoff to Melcher, looking for some room, but he is dragged down by big number 59 of the Springfield Wildcats. Number who three, managed to through the hole there. Yeah, that play just uh, really didn't have uh, have the time and coordination, especially coming out of the timeout. You know, coming out of the timeout, you usually like to see a, a successful play, and unfortunately, that one disintegrated. That makes it third and six. Jarden breaks the huddle, brings the team up to the line. Eugene Rentis and Ryan Long behind him in the backfield. Takes the snap. His hand off to Long. Picks his way up the middle. Brought number down by a good by play by number 72 in the Wildcats. Ryan Long who managed there, to get around the offensive lineman and bring him down for no gain. No gain in that play. That brings up fourth down and six, let's call it. Blue Devils have stalled a little bit here on this drive. And I use that term loosely. 
You know, I'm not so sure whether that's a bad offense or good defense or a little bit of both, but I was real impressed with the uh, quickness down on that the uh, Wildcats showed on their defensive line in those last two plays. Big the left play side of that defensive of the line here. has two big defenders who they're are also, light on their feet. Yeah, they're all they're quick. Jordan takes a snap, drops it, picks it up, keeps it himself, looking for some room, manages to gain about three yards, but he's going to be short of the first down. Yeah, that play will turn it over on downs. The, the Wildcats will take yeah, over on their own. 26 yards. He's going to turn the ball over. So Springfield's going to pick the ball up. So Deep as the teams change Anthony their offenses the and defenses, just a reminder, it's 6 nothing here. Blue Devils lead the so Springfield, Springfield Wildcats. Wildcats take the ball over Northampton. Yeah, the, the timing and the tempo and the rhythm on that last series wasn't what we expect out of this experienced junior squad. I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll make an adjustment. Coach Demon will have them ready for their next series. The Wildcats take over on offense. And last time we saw some, I think I called them ambitious plays. And let's see if they continue that trend. They have those two receivers to the right. Quarterback calls the signals. It's a handoff to the deep back in the eye, who is brought down at the line after a gain of, let's say, one yard there. You know who made a nice play? long in there on the tackle. You know who made a nice play shooting in from his uh, backfield position was number eight, Rentis, who was very disruptive in the backfield on that play. And Isaiah Rodriguez did, did a good job from his defensive line spot to bring him down as well. Yeah, and Rentis is going get to a, get a well-earned break and a pat, a, a pat on the helmet by his teammates who recognize his good play there. So second and nine for the Wildcats. Here, I want to say, we're probably midway through the first half at this point. Second and nine, but that'll through. I never know. Quarterback calls the signals, motions for one of his receivers to go in motion across the formation. Takes the snap, fades back. He's going to keep it himself, rolls to his left. Got a little bit of room. Oh, nice Brought play. Brought down by first by number 32. That was Gavin Bullock, who then was finished off by number nine. That's Ryan Long. Brought down by a couple of jerseys That's there. another one of those plays, Rob. It was just too like long to develop, and that just that gave play. the speedy Bullock. defenders of the Blue Devils Yeah, way, to way, to way too much speed on the Blue Devils. It's third, uh, third down and long. This gives us an opportunity third to congratulate and to thank Sponsors for the Northampton Blue Devil football program are premium sponsors. Those who are most generous include the Northampton Police Relief Association, Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home, and Angelic Builders. As premium sponsors, they reach in their pockets the deepest to, to help contribute to the well, success okay. of this Double program, nine, and we really ready? appreciate their generosity. Third and eight. Quarterback making sure everybody's set. Takes a snap. There's a throw. That was that same play, play we saw in the first, pass. first series. They hit the receiver in an unfortunate spot, and he was unable to hold on to the ball. So that'll bring up fourth down. That actually made it through two Blue Devil defenders before it hit the receiver. Yeah, that was, an, that was, a, it was an unusual play. Gold sponsors for the... Uh, Northampton Youth Football Program include Pioneer Landscapes Incorporated, MRW Connected LLC, Liquors 44, Attorney Mark A. Tanner of Bacon Wilson, Osberg and Associates, Florence Savings Bank, and the World War II Club. The Deuce! So fourth and eight, and the Wildcats are going to be going for it. They This is the second time they've gone for it on fourth down. Uh, yeah, I think that's a punt. Uh, I think that's a punt. punt. I think that's a punt. Uh, punt. Uh, they take no. the punt. They're going to try to run it. Yeah, but Gerard and Zare. That's it's not, not going to work. Oh, nah. That was, Never uh, mind. Never years. mind. Great. Hamp takes over first and 10 deep in the Wildcat territory. They have the ball on their 23 yard line. Great play by Let's Gerard. And, plays here for Hamp. and once again, and that's the speed that of the defensive over. backfield the by the Blue Devils the that's proving field. to be the difference so far. Going again here for Hamp. You know, you're in punt formation. You're pretty far back behind the line. Yeah. That must be the end of the quarter. And that's the end of the quarter. That was the end of the first quarter, so it's the beginning of the second quarter here at Tudor Field, the Smith Vocational High School. Blue Devils are facing a first and 10 on the 25-yard line of the Springfield Wildcats. Jarden up under center, takes the snap. There's a handoff to Melcher, picks his way up the middle, a little spin move. Brought down after a gain Number of five. The run, Ryan Lock for North Another Hampton. solid run by the Blue Devils offense. Yeah, about three. Even though it wasn't spectacular or, or beautiful, it's a five-yard gain. And a five-yard gain that brings them down to the 20-yard line of the Wildcats. So far, the Blue Devil offense has had one spectacular play. Beautiful run by Melcher. 
And then their last possession, they kind of got bogged down after a little bit of confusion. So their third possession here, they started off the right way with a nice solid five yard gain. Jarden up under center, calls out the signals, takes the snap to hand off the long, looks for the hole, runs into his own lineman. That was number seven. Jake Kozlikowski. But and still manages the game about three hours. You know he got run into, but then he kept going forward, and so did Ryan Biden is back, and they rode it ahead for a four-yard gain, yeah, bringing up third and short. That's the way you're supposed to do it. You get behind those big linemen, and you just push your way forward. There's a third, and let's call it a third. Game plays up now, third and three. Jarden up in our center. Everybody's ready. Takes a the snap. There's the handoff to Melcher. Big hole on the right-hand side. Looked like he might have been able to spring it. I think that's the first down. But he does get the first down. First down. Pretty close here. Wildcats showed some speed on their own side of the ball yeah. there by closing on him pretty quickly. Once he got through that hole. But you know what? These are these are real good plays. You know, three, four, five yeah, yards to carry. I'm liking this kind of football. They use up the clock. They keep that speedy Wildcat offense off the field. This is good, good football. Good plays and also well executed. First down and 10 on the 13-yard line of the Wildcats. Jarden takes a snap. There's a pitch to rent. There's plenty of room on the left. Number Looking for the goal line. Outside. One guy to beat. Manages to do it. Yeah, and he gets in for the touchdown. It's a face mask or a horse collar. Right They're going to decline eight. that Lincoln because... Laker? Rentis. Gene Rentis, I stand corrected. Eugene Boogie Rentis. Rentis the saw that defender, flag that saw too. the pylon there. See what they call it. Managed to beat him there. There was a face mask. That's not going to affect anything. Boogie Rentis. Eugene. Uh, That'll be declined. Nice run. You know what? Rentis showed amazing determination there. For We thought he was down one yard shy, but for the goal line there, he was not going to be denied. Impressive determination on the part of Rentis. Touchdown Blue Devils, 12-0 lead as they attempt the two-point conversion. And that was another well-executed play. As soon as he got that pitch, all he had was daylight between him and the goal line, and then he just beat that one defender for the score. Here's the two-point conversion try. Hand off to Ryan Long up the middle. There's some push at the line. They fall just short. And they're not going to give them a two on that so one. So that makes the score Blue Devils 12, Wildcats nothing. So he is back on the board again. Springfield Wildcats will take over on their own 20-yard line after the touchdown by the Blue Devils. There was no kickoff, but there, that penalty, that, that, that personal foul was assessed on the kickoff. Normally, the Wildcats would take over on the 35, but they're starting at their 20. And up the middle, nice little spin move in the hole. Still on his feet, brought down by most of the Blue Devils. Spins out again. Finally brought Final down. tackles there. And finally, number 28 from North Hampton picked him up on that. Six, ben Landry, ben Landry, I think, on that tackle. He spun, bounced, and weaved. And finally we talked Landry about a determined down. run by Rentis. That was, that was a determined that run was, by the Wildcats. You know, that, that was tremendous. And I'm not so sure whether that was bad tackling or great 25. running or a little bit of both. But hats off to that uh, Wildcat yeah, runner who showed wildcat. strength and balance and more than anything, a dogged determination. And uh, a couple of those Blue Devil starters who have been playing both ways yeah, get a well-deserved rest after that play. I saw some Shuffling. That was the biggest offensive play so far for the Wildcats. First and ten, Springfield. First and ten from their own 35-yard line. Quarterback trying to get the attention of the receivers so he can send him in motion. Finally does. Takes the snap. Looks like he bobbled a little bit. And number no place to go. And big Devontae Edmonds brings him down Not after down Gavin Jarden. And I thought Jack I saw number Diggins 35. Kind of yeah, that was there. Diggins who Diggins made a nice play there. A nice play. a nice play. And, you know, I think that's the first no call out of uh, Devontae Edmonds, Edmonds, who is Devontae early Edmonds. season MVP uh, leading candidate so far. He's been a monster on both sides of the ball, and he really showed it on that play. I think as this game goes on, we're going to be calling number 50 more and more as he's just been such a fourth on both sides of the ball all year long for the Devils. And it looked like there was a little bit of confusion there on the part of the Wildcats quarterback. He took that snap, and he was kind of looking around for someone to give the ball to. Yeah, but I really like the play that Jack Diggins made coming out of his middle linebacker position. He, uh, Ryan Long usually mans that position. Ryan is a well-deserved break, and Diggins came in and didn't miss a beat, makes the, makes the play on the first play. 
second and 11 for the for the Wildcats. There's the snap, there's the handoff, and that runner is met by Troy Brock Renner, number 55. The loss Devontae play Edmonds again. helps him number out as well. For North Hampton, number 55. No and gain on that one. Tackle there. Roy that was a uh, terrific Devontae tackling Edmonds. right there. Post of other Blue Devils. Once they touched him, he wasn't going anywhere. No, he wrapped, wrapped him up nice. Pile and drive. Set it down right here. So Rentis comes out for a break, and Rentis Gavin Rentis Bullock goes, goes in at the linebacker spot. Running game is third and 12, let's North call Hampton. it. Hey, you know what? Let's just give a shout out to our blue sponsors, Collective Copies, Newman's Construction, Goggins Real Estate, Joe's Pizza, Whale and Insurance Agency, Dove Business Associates, Valley Home Improvement, Weber, Grinnell, the Blue Bonnet Diner, and Strides. Thank you to all these businesses. They're there for Northampton Youth Football. They're there for all sorts of worthy, uh, worthy organizations in this community. What about takes a snap? There's a handoff up the middle. And whatever yeah, hole was there was the closed up really quickly. Yeah, that was number 52. Troy Renner on nice that. That's number 52. Also nice number play. 52, Nico Mastrangelo. Nice play by Nico on that play. And that brings up fourth down and ten and a half yards. The first two times the Wildcats faced a fourth down, they went for it both times. The last time on a fake punt. So I'm guessing they're going to go for it on this one, Rob. Yeah. And Master Angelo did a really nice job on that play. He uh, used that strong sort of short body of his to penetrate through the hole and make the tackle. Nice play. This is a punting situation. Punting and there's a punt. Got a punt. Almost blocked. Takes a blue wildcat bounce. Ryan Long almost got uh, a hand on that ball. Punt by Springfield. Took a Springfield bounce. And the, ball about the, 47 yard the line. Blue Devils will take Here over comes around the 47 yard line. What's interesting about that series for the Wildcats is the first couple times they had the ball, they were trying some of these ambitious pass plays. And that last time, they just tried running the ball up the middle. Neither Somewhere in between. Well. Somewhere in between. Yeah. You know, number 44, Lucas Phelps, was back on that punt, and he easily could have gone and, and tried to catch that ball. But he made a really heady play by just letting it land. There were Wildcats all over the place. And there's a, I think it's a two-minute warning is what and, I'm seeing. And all of his teammates were shouting out poison, which is the call. Stay away from that ball, because if he touched it, then it becomes a live ball that the Wildcats could recover. Two-minute warning. Two-minute warning here. Wildcats defending the Blue now. Devils as the Blue Devils are on the 47-yard line. There's a handoff to Melcher. Narrowly Luke avoids Luke the first right would-be tackler. Luke Melcher. Quickly uh, brought down after a gain of, let's two call it, two and a half. Now, there's a... There's a you know, these guys are terrific athletes, and Melcher's been amazing. On that particular play, he was going to get hit, and rather than lowering his shoulder and getting underneath the tacklers, I think he tried to stand up and, and tiptoe around him. I think as he becomes more experienced, he'll learn to get beneath the pads of the defender, and when he knows he's going to get hit, he'll drive through him and use that lower body strength. That where he made that On that play, he made himself a target and was easily brought down and trying to make it a bigger play than... What, what was going to happen? We have a trips formation left for the first time. Oh, there's nice play. Nice Melcher cut. on the left-hand side. Still on his feet. I think there's a fumble. Brought down. There's a fumble. I don't see who recovered. I think the Blue Devils held on. Number three on the play brought down Luke Melcher. So that was a well executed play. play, but the Wildcats weren't no fooled. Boy, you know, it looked like that play was going to go for a bunch of yards. Credit to the uh, Wildcat defense who just shut that down play using some tremendous speed out of the uh, out of their line. They closed very quickly on that play. Wow. That brings up third and ten for the Blue Devils. Yeah, that's Noah Brink, number 11, who's, who's uh, reported back out of the game on, on this play. Noah's a uh, determined player. Sure, he's going to make an impact before the game is over today. Is it that trips left formation again? Jordan calls the signals, takes the snap, looking for somebody. Oh, he's got long, he's got long, but that long. Ball was overthrown. The intended receiver number nine. It's not 12 feet tall, long so long. we couldn't catch that one. We'll bring up a fourth down, Andrew. Fourth down, fourth and ten. It's another Blue Devil drive that has kind of stalled a little bit. Let's see what they're going to do here. Jarden hustles back to the huddle after getting the play call from the coaches on the sideline. And it looks like they're going to go for it. So Jarden in the shotgun formation. Oh, there's a whistle there by the referees. I think we have a timeout. And timeout on the field. Blue Devils. 
Blue Devils took a timeout before the fourth down play to make sure they had the right call. It's a trips left formation. Gavin takes the snap. Looking for someone to throw to. He's got a man open. It's Melcher. Oh, what a Makes throw. The catch. He's at the 30, he's going the 20, the, the 10. And he's, he's going to make it in for the touchdown. touchdown Northampton. It doesn't get any prettier than that. What a beautiful play. Gerard and Melcher, touchdown Blue Devils. Now that's how you do the fourth down conversion. Whoa, how pretty is that? That is a very pretty play. Boy, Everyone Mel did their job. That was Everybody, you know what? The offensive line did their job. Quarterback threw a perfect spiral right into the waiting arms of Melcher. Great concentration, great throw, great catch, great run after catch. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Hit Melcher in stride, and then Melcher did the rest. Took it up the sidelines and just out ran the defenders for the end zone. So two-point conversion attempt by the Blue Devils. We're 0 for 2. We gotta go, gotta get this one. Just based on the law of averages, we should get this one. Driving so the shotgun calls timeout. See something we didn't like. Don't. Lines up for the two. That was a heads-up play by uh, qu quarterback Jordan on that play. He only had 10 men on the field, and he could recognize immediately and called timeout. He knows how important these two-point conversions are, and he wanted to make sure that they had everybody they needed for a successful play. Jordan takes a snap as they hand out the long up the middle. I saw the hole there for a second. He, he gets did. in there he for two. What was nice about that play, Rob, is they used that trips formation to the left, and that's they used on the touchdown pass. And then just bam, right up the middle. Blue Little Devils, bit of trickery. Blue Devils 20, Wildcats 0. That's the end of the first half. Getting ready to start the second half here at Smith Vocational High School. Tugend Field, the Northampton Blue Devil Junior Division, Northampton Youth Football League team. Leads the Springfield Wildcats by a score of 20 to nothing. It was a strong first half showing by the Blue Devils. And the Falcons, or the, I'm sorry, the Wildcats struggle a little bit to find some offensive rhythm. As the second half begins, the Wildcats will take over and begin the half on their own 35-yard line. Real impressive first half for the Blue Devils. They had some big hit plays. Melcher scoring, uh, did he score all three touchdowns? Or two, certainly two of them. Two of them, and Rentis scored the third. That's one. right. Quarterback oh, there's fades Edmonds. back to pass. There's, there's Edmonds. Edmonds. Gets there, the brings field. him down, helped back out by Caven Powers. For Northampton. That's a big loss. That's a loss of eight yards. Up on that play. Devontae Edmonds got right inside there. Big loss. That's a, that's a great start for the Blue Devils. You know, in the first half, we, we highlighted the, some of the corporate sponsors. As we start the second half, there's a number of families who also contribute financially to this program, including the Andy Morrison family, the Mike Benedizic family, Ron Behrens, the, the Berenson family, the Zinals, Jim and Diana, the Tudrins and the Burnishes. Thank you so much for all that you do for Northampton youth football. Looks like the Wildcats are continuing their offensive woes here in the second half. I think in the first half they had one for the really solid offensive play, and that was lost. a run up the middle by a rather determined Wildcat running back. So here the Wildcats are in the formation they've been using for much of the game. Two wide receivers to the right. They send one in motion. Quarterback takes the snap, hands off to the receiver. Nice play. That, ball, that play is sniffed out. That was Ben Fowler who sniffed it out. Eugene Rentis. Helping him out there. They've nine, seen that one before. And we said earlier in the game, Ryan Long and the speed in the, in the Blue Devils' backfield, defensive backfield, yeah, no, is we'll really helping out there. Play. You know, you know sometimes it's speed, sometimes it's athleticism, and sometimes it's just smart play. And Fowler did a great job on that play. It's real easy on plays like that to get sucked in the middle. And, and the coaches train these players to stay in their lanes, especially the corners, to hold their corner. And Fowler did that. Turn him inside. Not only did that, but finished the tackle. Great play by Benny Fowler on that. That play. Brings up third down and 19 for the Wildcats. Third and 20 now, Springfield. Quarterback breaks the huddle, brings the team up to the line, makes sure everybody's in the right spot. Calls the signals, fakes the handoff, keeping it himself, dances around looking for some room. And then he's brought yeah, down by a Blue swarm of Blue Devils. There was number 32 Definitely in there, Gavin 56. Bullock. Also number 56. I don't have a 56. It must have been 58, Dylan, Dylan Demond. 
The plays that, that the, the here Wildcats offense are running that just take so Build long to develop just gives the Blue Devils time with their speed to get into the backfield and disrupt it. So that's fourth and a solid 20 here. They fooled me before with this punt or no punt question. And it looks like... I can thank them all for being such great supporters. Uh, looks like a timeout the, on the, Falcon, field. the Wildcats are doing a timeout. Fourth down for the Wildcats. They have a player who's shaken up on the field. Wildcats have their personnel correct for this fourth down play as the last of their 11 comes trotting onto the field. Really the line here. Looks like they're going to punt but they have done a fake punt before. Yeah, Although I'd be a little bit surprised if they would do a fake punt, fourth and 20 on their own 25. Got Melcher deep to receive the punt. There's the snap. Low snap. Punt. Balls away. Up in the air. Kick. Goes backwards on the bounce and ends up at the line of scrimmage. Camp D got right in there, broke that up. Oops. Ball didn't get anywhere. I'm not quite sure how to punting. comment on that one. It seemed like I, he had time to punt, even well, though it was he, a bad. He was rushed on the. He was rushed because it was a bad snap, and then he by the time up. he picked it up, he could have kicked it, but he instead had Troy he waited. in his face. Well, then he finally kicked it up in the air, and it had so much backspin on it. It just went about five yards. And I don't. Then it I don't think back. he kicked that with his foot. I think he kicked that with his ankle. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. I think you, you, take you know. that, you just take that page out of the playbook. Oops. So Blue Devils take over on the 25 of the Wildcats after the yeah, on the, no after, after the after the Blue ankle kick. Jardin's up under center. Takes the snap. Hand off the long off tackle. Another nice run. run. Through the middle there. Powers up. That's a five yard gain, and that's that's been a favorite of ours all day today, Rob. We yeah, like those five yard gains. Play. Long. Hey, that, that's number 13, Qu Quentin Cicero reporting into the game. He's a big fan of Troy Palomalu, and he, uh, even though he likes the Patriots, he loves Troy. I think he likes that hairdo and the way he plays with reckless abandon. We haven't called Quentin's name out much today. I think he's re referred to as Quinter. And, uh, boy, if he gets the ball, we can see him dancing and prancing for another one of those uh, great runs that he that he uh, is so famous for after the last couple ball games. I think you might see it here, Rob. Driving up on the center. Takes the handoff. There's the pitch to Quinton. Cuts it back to the left. One <laughs> guy to goes. beat stays on goes. his feet. A couple tackles there he goes. And he's Brought brought down, down finally at the five. That's called Quentin the seven Cicero. yard line. That was an exciting Broken little run play. there. It sure was. What a what a what a passionate kid. He uh, loves playing football, and you can see it in those speedy little legs of his. Beautiful you know, him, we're, we're, we've seen this week after week where teams think they have him, and he's just faster Quentin than Cicero. they anticipate. I, I don't know. What do you think he weighs about? 47 pounds, boy, yeah. but he flies. He does fly. The, the My goodness an gracious. Get him and he just he is just right so him. quick. Reminds, you, know, you, know, you know, he reminds me of Reggie Bush. He has that Bruce same sort of burst. Yeah, 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 that same sort of bush. That same sort of bush burst. Jarden takes a snap. There's a handoff to Reed Stone. A That's a turnover. He was popped in the backfield, and he coughed it up. That's too bad. That's too bad. Wildcats will take over on their own nine-yard line after the fumble. So Hamp D takes the field. Springfield Wildcats will be taking the field off. You know, I, I couldn't really see turnover. what caused the turnover. I couldn't tell if it was just a muffed handoff or if it was a it was penetrating. A handoff. It was just he got popped. By he the got defender. popped. Yeah. Had a poor angle on that. Good play by the Wildcats. And this gives us another opportunity to do a player profile. Why don't we talk about number 15, Jalen Rodriguez? Uh, he's uh, going to be entering the sixth grade at JFK. He's a, his parents describe him as a bright, smart player who just loves people and loves playing football. He's a real easy guy to get along with, and he is excels in math, and we're thrilled to have him as part of our youth football program here. First and 10 for the Wildcats on their own 10 yard line. Send the receiver in motion. Quarterback takes the snap. He's keeping it himself. Unfortunately, he's running backwards. He tries to cut it back. He's caught in the backfield for a loss. Brought down. Isaiah Rodriguez was in on that Several tackle. Blue Devils on that. Trying to get some other numbers. That was number 57 in, in on that play, too. That was, uh, was also Reed Landry in on that tackle. That's right. You, you got Rodriguez on that, right? You gave, yep, 57. He got, he got that. credit. That was a good play by Rodriguez. David Powers. Was uh, Manitanski, and I think uh, Jacob Manitanski was in on that play as well. 
and it, it that's just another play by the Wildcat offense that and there's is a, taking too long. It's not going to go anywhere. No, there's a timeout on the field. Take local shop, After local the timeout, the Wildcats spent a lot of time trying to figure out what you do on the second and 19 play. On the four. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have that play in my playbook. I don't know. It's just go go forward. There Try was, to get out of the danger zone. There's no dirt over there on the sideline, but they were doing some drawing on the grass, I think. Yeah, I, I would suggest keep it simple. Go forward. Quarterback calls the sentence. He fades yeah, back. That's he's why I'm not the coach. He's brought down for the safety. And you know what? Maybe I should be. I don't know. What was Ryan Long busts through the line from his linebacker spot. Made the initial contact. Brought down by also by number 50, Devonte Edmonds. And number 70, Luke Lyon Sosa. You know, there are, there are times to take the chance, and there are times not to take the chance. You know this uh, this this Free Wildcat field, offense needs to simplify. Needs to get the extra player on the line. They don't need three guys out there lining up. They need an extra block blocker on the line. Bring the end into the line. Do your job on the line. Go forward. Get three or four yards. Grind it up. Well, the last few plays they were going backwards and they weren't even trying. On that play they went backwards to fade Can back to pass. Folks, and that was raffles. just Number going three, in the Blue four, Devils' four. wheelhouse. Wheelhouse. You know, it's it's football's a tough game, and it's no fun when you're getting crunched. And when you put your players into a position like that, you know, you're not giving them a chance to succeed. It's just no fun getting dragged down in your own end zone. That's uh, that one's on the coaching staff, not on the players. With the safety, that makes the score 22 to nothing, Blue Devils, and the Blue Devils will get possession of the ball. And the referees have spotted the ball at the Folks, 45 50 -50 for of the Blue Devils, so they're going to take over. 45, 55 yards to go for the touchdown. As it gets a little bit darker here at Tudrin Field, the lights are on. Pick your money up at the NYFL merchandise booth, and while you're there, you can spread some of that money around, buy some After this game, we'll see the seniors the take on the Wildcats. 3, 4, 5, 2, 0, 7. Jarden up under center, first down, takes the snap, came up along. Up a hole on the left-hand side, and that's the gain of five. There we go. That, you know, the last few drives we all started with the same play. And why not? Why not? Five yards. It works. I love that play. Second and five instead of second and 15. Second and five instead of second and 18. Second Sometimes simple is better. If the Wildcats had that play, wouldn't have been a safety play. You know what? And, and they have the skill to do it. They've got some powerful running backs. They've got some powerful offensive linemen. You know, use your strength. Use your, and then break then break one. You know, after you establish that ground game, then you soften it up. And they've shown an ability to run inside. They were doing it early. Jarden up under center. High formation behind him. It's a handoff to Melcher. Cuts it back to the left. He's got some room. One guy to beat. Cuts back. That man manages to wrap him up and bring him down after a gain of 15. Another nice run by Melcher. And I see the hat up. And I'm not sure if that indicates the end of the third quarter. I thought I saw the hat up. Let's see here. And this is the We're end. We're trying to guess the time left here in the game. It's an ongoing issue for us up here in the booth. And that is the end of the quarter. End of the third quarter. Blue Devils 22, Springfield Wildcats nothing. At the beginning of the fourth quarter, the referees are just going to change ends of the field. Coach has just reminded the players that they need to change ends of the field. As we scramble here to get everybody in position, just want to remind everybody that this is the third of four home games that we're going to have this year. The last one at Smith Oak. Next one will be at the high school, if I understand the schedule correctly. So one more chance to come out in person and see the Blue Devils. Offense on the field, first down Northampton. Here's I think that last game is going to be against the Hurricanes of Amherst. Crosstown rivals. We have back-to-back -back games to finish the season against the Hurricanes. Trips left formation. Jarden the shotgun. Takes a snap. Looking to throw. Finds Long in the backfield. Swing pass. Long. Up, and he's got room. Finds he's some down. room. He to gain five of, the play. About five yards on the play. You know, we oh. talked about uh, Noah Brink being making an impact play. He did there. He screened two defenders on that play and really opened it up for Long to move forward for seven yards. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Nice job by Brink on that play. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I really like that play out of, out of that formation. They've shown that they can do a lot of different plays out of that trip left or trip right formation to keep the Wildcats guessing. Sure does. And... Going to be second and five now, Northampton. Now Jarden up under center with an eye formation behind him. Takes the snap. Has the handoff to Powers. 
Powers had a brief hole on the left-hand side, gain of about a yard and a half. You know, and again, that's where that's where experience will come into play. Now, it was a nice run, but when you're about to be hit, the key is to take that, you know, to drive through the tackles, to accelerate in the tackles. Your tendency is to decelerate in the tackles. That makes you vulnerable for a hit. It makes you vulnerable for a fumble. When you create that contact, you can and you finish those runs. You can you can tack on a couple extra yards and really demoralize the defense. Well, the coaches again, call yeah. it hitting the hole. You got to hit it hard. You and then, hit it and then finish your runs. Jarden up under center. High formation behind him. Takes the snap. There's the hit. Cicero. He is got gone. Some room. He's going. And we've seen his speed. There it is again. And he's in for the touchdown. Wow. <laughs> you know, Rob, I was saying to myself, I don't think he can make it. And there he did. He is the scooter. That is some speed. Reggie Bush on the outside. Wow. Wow, is right. That's just so fun to watch. He's lightning. Well, it's t it's tough for the Wildcats. You have a, a run from Powers, a run from Long, who are who are great backs, so and then you give it to Speedy Cesaro, and he just runs for the corner. You know, nobody sees him coming. He's spe he is Speedy. Boy, that's about his fourth touchdown in the last two games, and he's only touched the ball six times. Six times, four scores. Lightning. Q man. Blue Devils line up for the two point conversion. Coach doesn't like what he sees in the formation, so he calls for a timeout. They have the, they have the uh, safety running. Trips left formation after the coaches get the formation right. Jarden takes the low snap. Swing pass out to Melcher. Melcher's Number brought down successful in the attempt. after the contact. That makes the score 28 to nothing, Blue Devils. So that means, Rob, if you go back to the play where... So the hand offense comes off the, the field. Wildcats were lined up deep in their own end zone. Earlier. They get up the safety, and, up and then the after the safety, which is two points for the Blue Devils, the Blue Devils get the so ball, they and they bring it in for the touchdown. So that was basically an eight-point play doing a fantastic for the Blue Devils. This afternoon. A big round of applause for the half defense. You know, I'd, letting nothing by him. If you followed my logic there, I did. You know, and, I, and I'm, I'm sort of, I'm kind of rooting for the Wildcats here to put together a little bit of a drive. You know, it's time for the Wildcats to, to you know, to learn something to play some football. Hamp is uh, shuffling players in and out. The Wildcats what I'd like to see is the Wildcats have this passing formation that they've been running out of a lot, a lot of the time. I'd like to see them open it up a little bit. James Big Blue D is on the field. So here you have two receivers to the right, one receiver to the left. And they're showing a lot of motion, but not this time. Quarterback takes a snap, and there's a handoff for the deep back. Gain of about a half a yard. He was met by six Blue Devils. And Rob, you're right, we're seeing now wholesale changes on the Blue Devils defense as the coaches are giving all the players playing time as much as they can. Yeah, and they include uh, number six, Micah McGrath, who's reports into the game. Uh, who else are we seeing out there? There's uh, Jalen Rodriguez we'll at the safety nine spot. For Wildcats. There we go. Uh, number, uh, who else do we, you know, we have a tough angle to see the linemen in this particular play. Then it's getting dark and our eyes are bad. Yeah. Wildcats break the, the huddle, second up. and nine. Quarterback checks with the running backs, make sure they're all set. Calls the signals, sends a receiver in motion, takes the snap, hand off to the motion receiver. We've seen this play before, and we've seen this result before. There's Devontae Edmonds in on that tackle. No also, Nico Mastrangelo in, in on that tackle. Also, number 70, Luca Lionsosa in on that tackle. We've seen that play a lot, Rob. Nobody, yeah, so nobody was surprised by that one at all. Yeah, reporting to the game is number 25, Jameson, Jameson Nay. Is that pronounced Nay or Nay? Any Nay, I presume. Okay. He's reporting in a safety. That gives us an opportunity after this play. Maybe we'll do another player profile. Third and seven and a half, eight for the Wildcats. They're at their own 37 yard line. Third down Wildcats. Quarterback takes a snap, hand off to the deep back. Looking for some room on the yeah, left. Caught there at the line. Brought Gino down Barriere. by six of the Blue Devils. Including number 77, Jared Smith. Number 32, Gavin Bullock. Hey, let's talk about Gavin, who's a fifth grader at Leeds School. You know, Gavin is a, is a great student. Math is his favorite subject. And unfortunately, he's a New York Giant fan. Kid loves a winner. What can you say? Yeah, you know, obviously. 
So this is fourth down for the Wildcats. They've been pretty aggressive on fourth down. Fourth and five now, Wildcats. Two mixed results. The board. But at this point in this game, he's you're down 28 nothing. you got to go for hopefully. it. Quarterback takes the snap. He's keeping it himself. Finds a little room. Nice play. Right, out races Jack Diggins. Finally brought down, down the field. by Renner. That was number 55, number 55 Renner. For Northampton. That was a solid Being tackle. The first down on that, but 55 is right and at I think the Renner. quarterback is shaking up And we might have a timeout here. First down first for the Wildcats. Wildcats now. The quarterback right was the shaken up a little bit on that play. He popped right up, though. But because they had to stop play for him, he has to come out for at least one play. So number 52, Nico Mastrangelo, has been doing a nice job on this drive. He is only a fifth grader from Bridge Street School. He's a science guy. Nico, the science guy. And his long-term goals are to get an MIT. you got to love that. Uh, that's, that's set your sights high and go for it, Nico. We're all rooting for you. First down, quarterback takes a snap, keeps himself. Got some nice blocking and a nice little... Little move up the middle there. That's a gain of about eight. You know, there's nothing game fancy about, about quarterback right sneaks, but sometimes that's just what you need. Not fancy, but effective. Nice gain by the uh, well, by the, the Wildcats. The difference there is that the quarterback took the snap and just ran. Just he ran. Wasn't faking he, a handoff. And he, you know, it, you know, it didn't give a chance for these speedy Northampton linemen to use their speed and their athletic uh, ability. Sometimes quicker, quick hits are the way to go. Sometimes simple is best. That's two. I think that's the first time all game where they've had two positive yardage plays on offense. Lined up at about the 40. Second and two, the Blue Devil side of the field. The original quarterback is back in the game. Calls the signals, takes the snap. There's a handoff to the deep back in the eye. He's got a hole in the left. Oof, that was ripped. another big hit. Was that Renner again? I don't know. That was that was uh, that was it might have been. That I'm was not... that was Renner again. Oh with my a big God. hit from his middle linebacker spot. <laughs> you hear that one up here. Kick out a first Ouch. down, but he had to pay a little bit for it. Hey, that was number uh, number 70, Lucas Lyon Sosa, who uh, reported it out. Did a nice job in that play as well. Nice job by Lyon Sosa on that play. Our second match of the day. There's another first down. First and 10 for the Wildcats. They're on the 36 yard line of the Blue Devils. A big win. Wildcats break to huddle. They've got a nice little drive going here in the second half of the game. Quarterback surveys the field. First down Springfield. Takes the snap. It's a handoff fumble. and a fumble. Ball's loose in the field. Tucked it into the stomach of the upback, and it kind of bounced off and landed on the ground. So the running back is able to fall on it. Covered by Springfield. So that's a gain of, that's no gain. That'll bring up second It'll down second and 10. They got lucky there that they didn't lose that ball. Gives us time to uh, highlight Dylan Demon, number 56. He's a entering JFK this year. He is uh, real excited about about this year. Is uh, loves playing football. He um, what what else can we tell you? He's a baseball all star. He uh, oh, loves math. Second he likes playing down. basketball. This is an enthusiastic kid who's just a great asset to this program. Number 56, Dylan Demon. Second and 11. Wildcats take the snap. There's a handoff to the deep back. Met by Caven Powers. Also really, really close there Rockets was number, number 55, our friend game. Troy Renner. Nice and snap that's the ball game. By 48 and 10. Great tackle by Powers. What a way to end. They, ended, they started it with a bang. They ended it with a crunch. Terrific dominating win by the Blue Devils today. Is the word for and that. they dominated every aspect of this game today. Oh, Final score, Blue Devils 28. Springfield Wildcats, Springfield Wildcats 0. Springfield Wildcats 28.